Hi, my name is Lori Briannis. And what do you like about cooking? I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and what else do you like about cooking? Um, I wouldn't say that I like cooking. Um, I never wanted to cook kind of have to cook if you want to feed yourself, but I do like that you can be creative and kind of come up with your own twist on different recipes or meals. And what, what made you an expert at Spanish rice? I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I've made it enough times that each time it's gotten better. Um, so yeah, just cooking and making a different, um, just making it over and over again. And each time kind of tweaking it until you figure out um, what works best. You mentioned your grandmother in the video. Mm -hmm. um, what was her food like? Oh my God, it was so good. Um, it was just delightful. Um, I don't even know. I mean, it, it was just so good. Um, everything she cooked was just, um, it's just really good. And no one cooks the exact same way that I've like, even like with rice, you can find some places that are pretty close, but I think of her tamales or her menudo. There's few places that I go to that I say, Oh, this is just like how grandma used to make it. So I guess it's part of that. Um, when you grow up and that's what you eat so much, that's what you know and that's what you come to love and that's what tastes good to you because that's what you have. Um, but it was just really good. I don't even know what it was. Like, I guess because Grandma made it. That's why it was so good. Did she inspire you to maybe tackle the stuff in the kitchen or besides the necessity to eat? Honestly, I was so spoiled because there was always food there. Like, you could always go to her house and it was always made. So... I never cooked with her. I um, She was always cooking, but I never had to cook with her. Um, and they always just had the food ready for us. We were, we were really spoiled. They took care of us. I mean, you go over to grandma's and grandma already had the food ready or it was almost ready. So, um, And even like with making tamales, she would make tons of those and would actually um, sell them. People would order them because they were really good. Um, and even my mother wasn't a part of that because my grandmother and my grandfather would wake up so early and just kind of make it on their own because it wasn't just cooking. It was also a business. And so we were kind of spoiled in that sense that we got to benefit from the food, but we never really had to cook with them. But of course, every time I make anything, I, I there's a hope that it could kind of taste like my grandmother's. Um, so, yeah. Who is they that you mentioned? For, for cooking. You said they, they spoiled you. My grandmother and my grandfather. Yeah. But my grandmother is the one who would always cook. Uh, have you tried to emulate anything else from her as far as cooking goes? Mm, no. Mm -mm. The Spanish rice is the, the go-to? Yeah, because it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> and because I have a wonderful husband who likes to cook, and so I don't ever have to cook. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> Um, do you aspire to try different Mexican, uh, recipes? Would be grandma recipes that... Mm -hmm. I'd like to, um, I mean, I've tried to make stuff close to how my mother made it. Like, I try to make my enchiladas close to the way my mom makes it. Um, but at the same time, it's almost like one of those things where it was so good and... Everyone knew my grandmother for her cooking, and it's so good that it's kind of, I kind of think like, okay, here's my grandmother, and then here's like other people cooking, and I'm right here, I'm trying to just kind of make some good tasting food. That would be really nice, but I don't realistically think that I'm ever going to be to my grandmother's level. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Hashtag, let's keep it real. <laughs> Okay, what would you recommend for people that are new to the kitchen? Like, what's 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 a good starter recipe for them? A starter recipe? Um, I think college. Well, you have to know how to make spaghetti, of course. Um, 
And with that, you can kind of go from there, you know, experimenting with different types of meat to put in your spaghetti, whether it's ground beef or turkey, um, different seasonings, or adding different vegetables, um, just kind of playing around. Um, and even, because I think of college, I think of like buying pasta in bulk, um, even with different, like trying out different pestos, um, you know, different vegetables to throw in there, like squash and mushrooms and just kind of playing around with that. Um, trying to think of what I made when I was in college. Um, when I think of cooking in college, actually, the funny story that I remember is I made scrambled eggs and my roommate was like, what kind of eggs are those? And I was like, they're scrambled. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? She's like, well, that's not the way my mom makes it. And I said, well, how does she make it? And she said, well, they're in smaller pieces. So I literally took the spatula and just cut it up a little. And I said, like that? And she's like, yes, that's how my mom makes them. I'm like, her eggs. But okay. Um, that's just funny that that's the cooking story from college that I remember. Um, I mean, I remember in college, um, we made hamburgers. And that was kind of like a group affair because... Um, my friend, one of my roommate's boyfriends, uh, would teach us like how to season it and different ways to make it. Like he would throw, um, actual pieces of bread in the meat. And so we kind of experimented with different ways to season meat and make hamburgers. So that's, that's an easy one that you can do in college too, but just kind of, um, I would honestly say as far as cooking, my mother-in-law gave me the joy of cooking cookbook and, that's just kind of the Bible of every recipe and you can kind of tweak it from there. So get a good cookbook and go from there and just tweak it as you go. What are your culinary goals? My culinary goals? Yes. To never give anyone food poisoning. <laughs> that's always good. Um, <laughs> I would really like to be able to, I, I want to cook a good roast. I haven't done a roast. Um, and I would like to get to the point with most recipes um, that I don't have to go to the cookbook. At this point right now, I, I do go to the cookbook and get an idea of where to go from there. But I'd like to be the type of cook that can just throw stuff together. Cool beans. Uh, what are your views on Edward Snowden and the Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> What was the most fun that you had? Or what was the most fun moment from cooking in front of a camera? Feeling like I could audition for the Food Network. Um, most fun moment? Um, I don't know. It was just fun to kind of teach. I'm a teacher, so I feel like I enjoy teaching others. If you were a bird... <laughs> and you had to feed your flock. <laughs> what what noise would you make to let your flock know that food was ready? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> thank you for your time, Lori. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs>